Greetings, Petroheads! My name is the Tom here on my gaming channel, and it's time for another episode of Automation, the car company tycoon game. So today I'm gonna be building a replica requested by my good friend Leap. He requested me to build a Volvo 240 GL GLI GLT. You can read it from here. Um, replica and. So that's what I'm gonna do today, and it is gonna be made with this body shell. I feel like there's not even that much dispute about that. Should I make a, an estate or... Yeah, let's make the estate car. So... I couldn't really find all that much info on this car in general. Um, it is transverse, like, very much no, about, no doubt about that. McPherson's front, probably, and then on the rear end... Let's go for a semi-trailing semi arm. And then corrosion-resistant steel. Actually, normal steel. As the panels, because... You know... My, my parents used to own a couple of Volvos from the era and they were all pretty susceptible to rust, if you will, and therefore I, I don't think it's corrosion resistant steel that they're made of. So, you know what, let's, let's not start with the headlights this time, let's start with the grill instead. And for the grill, we're gonna take this one. smaller though and we wanna surround this guy with chrome unfortunately I don't think we can overlap this area with chrome oh yes we can actually this the border of this grill is too thick on the bottom and so on the bottom edge at least therefore I'm gonna have to look for another grill that'll fit this this car better. Uh, this one looks tempting, but again, it has a pretty big border. And oh, and by the way, people keep uh, kept telling me um, I should go and uh, check out the open beta. Of course, I have not. I I don't live. I don't live in a cave. Of course, I've noticed. That there is the open beta with the V6s and I've tried it but if I do switch to the open beta my mod pack is gone and like most of my ability to create either replicas or unique cars is actually gone if the mod pack is no longer no longer available to me and therefore I I'm stick I'm gonna stick with what we got for now And yeah, so this is pretty much the grill I wanted. We're gonna surround this guy with chrome. This is going to be one part of the puzzle here. And then I'm going to put one more like here. And then before we actually make the one that goes completely vertical, we probably are going to need a little connecting piece here. And make 
make it a little thicker than it is right now. Like that, and then I can go ahead and make that. Alrighty, so I messed up a little bit here. Gonna delete this and make a new one. So there is that. And then all we need basically is one more of these and run them and run it all the way across like that and now we got this um, now that we've got this where exactly is the like I, I can only put the patch in the center anyway so I so this is kind of a redundant question but the patch is pretty small and it is surrounded by a little bit of chrome which I'm going to do by using this and scaling it appropriately like so and then of course we still need the volvo typical kind of chrome lines running uh, between the patch and the corners of the of the grill okay so that's not the correct angle oh Oh, I see the problem. No. Probably won't be able to do that because we have to do... We we would have to... Um, like we can't... As, this is not a type of exhaust. We can't uh, tell the game that we only want this fixture on one side of the car. So in the end, if I, if I made the arrangement that I needed, we would end up with a kind of an X. And that's... I don't think that's gonna look particularly good, so let's move on with the, he with the headlights and therefore we take these and make them pretty damn big. Also gonna put one here and an indicator right below that. Actually what we could do, and in fact something I what I'm going to do is just get rid of the other fixture there and put and drag this like so, so that we do not have the borders of the second headlight fixture getting in our way. And on the bottom side of this car we have obviously, inevitably, a number plate. And what else? Not that much, honestly. <laughs> All right, so then on the sides we have an indicator that is like right here or something. Is that an indicator after all? 
or what else would it be? Anyway, the door handles are pretty much. Oh, we don't have those in black, so let's go for these. One, two, and then back to the headlight, uh, to the taillights, excuse me. If I could actually find the rear end of an estate version of this guy. Let's just just entered it in Google Images here. Alrighty, there it is. So basically we have Taillight. Um, one like here, then Oh wait, what? In what kind of height is this? Uh, yeah, it's actually right wh where I placed it, but it's a little bit shorter on height. Maybe a little bit longer. How's this look? Uh, yeah, this needs to be a little bit shorter. And after that we have an indicator. And then we have some more red. How much of it? About this much. But actually, this whole arrangement goes from pretty much where I started all the way down to the to this little plastic bumper. So we need to increase the height of all of these just a little bit. Like so. Uh, yeah. Then the number plate goes pretty much in the center, like here. Like that. And. Well, there's not that much, uh, that much else to this rear end, really. Um, one exhaust pipe right here, and that's basically it. And yeah, well, since I couldn't find any decent source of engine specs for for this car, I'm going to build an engine myself for it. Let's make it all-wheel drive, actually. And because this is uh, this engine is going to be mounted transversely, I don't think we're going to be able to fit an in an, an inline six, which is the kind of engine that I would have prefer to put in there. So this is the Volvo 240 and let's call this the CE for custom engine. I know this is very creative. Can we actually fit an N6? No we can't. Let's put a V8 in there then. Because N4s are just 
boring. <laughs> Let's make this a really high stroke and not so high bore, four and a half liter. Actually, yeah, let's go for four and a half. With dual overhead cam, cast iron, yeah, it's a Volvo, it's a heavy car, it needs a cast iron engine. <laughs> VVL is actually available in 1992, didn't know that. Cast on crank, cast and hyperdactic. Uh, it is going to be naturally aspirated. With, with multi point injection. Actually, tempted to go for performance intake, but it's not a performance engine. So let's let's keep it a little bit realistic. Uh, 5700 maybe ignition timing a little bit earlier, and then some dual exhausts, dual exhaust, no single because we only have one exhaust pipe at the back of the car. But we can change that. Uh, 362 horsepower is definitely more than I expect to make here. Oh well, okay. I chose to, yeah, I chose regular unleaded instead of super unleaded. So the gun rods and the pistons are reducing reliability, which means we're gonna go, have to go for this and for this, and then it's fine. But then also the engine is gonna be much more expensive. Uh. Honestly, I think we can tune this a little bit better. This torque curve, that is. If we load the cam profile a little bit. No, actually if we raise it a little bit. Uh, no, I think that is fine as is, but if we go ahead and make that a little bit lower the, the ignition timing that should give us some benefits as well Fifty-seven, fifty-eight. that's fine this looks good as far as door curves go, 35, yeah, okay, let's stick with that. And increase the compression a little bit further. And we're making 275 horsepower, 401 newton meters, which is fine. Oh, and we can obviously decrease the exhaust diameter, giving us a little bit less power, but more torque. Yeah. Torque is definitely more important in a car like this than um, than peak power is. Of course, this engine is going to be pretty quiet since it is a Volvo after all. The economy is not that bad. Almost 25%. We're gonna give this guy a 4-speed automatic. Gear it to like... 222. That seems reasonable. We have all-wheel drive, so I don't think we need a differential. 50-50 power distribution seems fine actually. Medium compound road tires, because hard long life road tires would just be would just be a little bit pathetic for this kind of engine. We 
can put wider tires than the 185s in the front. Damn. <laughs> Steel rims. More profile because we're gonna need it. So we have a little bit kind of a lot of power for what tires we're we're running. Should have flared the wheel arches, but it's alright. Uh solid discs. Three pistons front, two pistons rear, and no under tray, no need for wing angles. Get this guy a lot more cooling than he actually needs, because it's a Volvo, it's supposed to be reliable, and then five seats. Is the 240 more of a premium or of a standard car? I think. Yeah, we can go with premium since we have a kind of quote unquote premium engine with the V8. And standard. Actually, it's a Volvo advanced name 90 safety. Hydro pneumatic and twin tube dampers and comfort setup. This, this guy is gonna roll like crazy probably. Actually, look at that. 3.23 degrees of roll angle. It's better than than some sports cars that I've made. 7 seconds from 0 to 100 is not that bad. We don't have very much wheel spin at all. That's surprising. 9.4%. Probably comes down to the automatic gearbox. What if we go for this? We have 0% wheel spin if we choose an automatic locker. It's awesome actually. How much cost does it add? Not quite a bit. But overall this car is not that expensive. I'm actually happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.